Okay, last time I set out what I meant by the uh, covariant uh, vector basis vectors, the omegas, and now I'm going to calculate them for a real example. And then I'll show you what to do with them. Um, everything, all, everything all comes together. Once you figure out what to do with these omegas, you, of course, are going to take dot products and stuff of, of the omegas. Um, everything becomes a lot easier, oddly enough. We've got to go through this rubbish. It's not rubbish, but we've got to go through this, this stuff first. I just want to say, actually, before I carry on, that the um, definition of these omegas, um, not every book in GR does it. I've been looking through my uh, library. Uh, I don't think Collier talks about these omegas. Schutz doesn't. Um, Mr. Thorn and Wheeler do, but only in passing. Um, so not every, not every um, textbook covers these things, but, well, anyway. So here's my Cartesian coordinates. I've got an X and a Y. And I've got h theta coordinates, which are indexed by that h there. That's a right angle and that theta there. And what's the relationship between them? I've got that x equals h, and I've got y equals h tan theta. So I've been defining my basis vectors in terms of e h equals di p by di h di p, di x, di x, di h, plus di p, di y, di y, di h. I think it's as well to, to do this each time. Di p, di x is e x by definition, times dx, dh, which is just 1, plus di p, di y is e y, times di y, di h is just tan theta. Just move that to microphone a bit. There we go. And e theta equals di p di theta equals di p di x di x di theta plus di p di y di y di theta equals e x times di p di theta di x di theta from here is zero plus di p di y is e y of course di y di theta, it's just h x squared. So I've got this these nice little pair of relations, and that equals e h, and that equals e y. And you remember I was talking here about the fact that the e's and the omegas, the two different basis vector systems we can use for covariant and contravariant indices, um, are in inverse relationships with one another because they multiply out to the identity matrix. Uh, as I wrote down here, which is quite nice. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. And of course, I'm in this nice position here because I know that e x dot e x is nice Cartesian vectors equals one, e x dot e y equals zero, and of course e y oops e y dot e y equals one as well, and e y I guess dot e x equals zero. So these Cartesian basis vectors behave themselves in the way that you want them to behave. So let's just write this down. E H equals one tan theta from here because that's the oops. Not sure what's going on here. Just a minute. Sorry about that. My computer was uh, playing up. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm writing e h. Uh, oh dear. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. Yes, I'm writing e x in terms of e x and e y. So we can see that e h equals e x, which is this term here, plus tan theta e y, which is that term there. Um, Actually, I'm going to make a matrix of this all together. I'm, I'm going to make a, 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 a two by two matrix of this. Let's just start that again. So I've got E X and E Y, which is this one here. E H equals E X times one, which is that term there, plus tan theta. And E Y, uh, sorry, E theta equals zero times E X plus H sec squared theta from that term there. So e theta equals 0 e x plus h sec squared theta times e y. Now, because of this uh, relationship here, 
about multiplying the e's by the omegas, you can see that when I take a matrix product of the E matrix, which is this one here, with the omega matrix, which is this one here, I'm going to get the identity. So I need to invert this matrix. Need to invert this. Okay, so let me just remind myself how to invert a 2 by 2 matrix. Just a minute. A, B, C, D to the minus 1 equals 1 over the determinant AD minus BC times and then switch and change. Switch, no you swap, swap and change, minus B uh, minus C. So my inverse matrix here, let me just write it out, we've got 1, 0, tan, theta and H sec squared theta, that's not very neat. 1, 0 to the minus 1, which is what we're trying to do, equals 1 over the determinant. The, de the determinant is just h sec squared, so that's just cos squared theta over h times uh, switch and change. So that's h sec squared theta and 1, because we swap these elements over here, and change the sign of the minor diagonal. So 0 goes to 0, and that's minus tan theta, which I'm going to write as minus sine theta over cos theta, just because I can. Okay, so I'll just simplify that. I'll just simplify that a little bit. Sorry about that, the uh, computer was uh, glitching out. Uh, equals, I'm just going to simplify this inverse matrix here. So that's a 1, 0, uh, we've got a minus get this right, uh, sine theta cos theta over h, and here we've got cos squared theta over h. Okay, so that's my matrix inverse. And so from this, we can quite easily see, looking at the structure of, this, um, of these uh, relationships here, that we can see there's the omega h and there's omega theta so omega h equals e x because there's just a plus zero i guess e y because of that zero there and omega theta equals just get this right minus sine theta cos theta theta over h e x plus cos squared theta over h e y. So I'm going to have to check that all my rules are met. So the first rule I've got is e, well, I've got, I'll write them all down. e h dot omega h should equal 1. And I'll verify these step by step. e h dot omega theta should equal 0. E theta dot omega h should equal zero, of course. And the final one, E theta dot omega theta should equal one, of course. So let me just uh, get these get these down here. E h is God, a lot of stuff here, isn't it? Where, where's my E h? Where's my E h? Oh, I wrote it, in, wrote it down here. Here's my E h. It's E x plus e y tan theta. I wish I could use cut and paste, but uh, notebook doesn't do that. E x plus e y tan theta. Right. So that's e x plus e y tan theta dot omega h from here is just e x plus the zero equals um, one. Tick. E h dot omega theta is e x plus e y tan theta. You see, I'm using the fact that e x and e y are just um, unit vectors in Cartesian space. So I know how they behave. And so I can use the fact that the dot product of e x with e, oops, with e y equals zero. I'm just using that fact over and over again. Uh, dot what have we got? Omega theta, which is this thing here, minus 
Oh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Sine theta cos theta over h e x plus cos squared theta over h e y equals. Well, you see, I can forget the cross terms because I know that e x dot e y equals zero. So what have I got? I've got the x term is going to be minus sine theta cos theta over h times, and of course, ex dot ex equals 1, plus uh, ey dot ey times tan theta times cos squared over h. Tan theta is sine over cos times cos squared theta over h. Uh, and everything cancels, because one of the cos has cancelled and we've got an h. Zero. Check. What's the next one? So that was 1, that was 0, this had better be 0 as well. E subscript theta, what was that? Can't remember now. Uh, um, oh, here it is. It's just h sec squared ey. h sec, oh no, I'll do this one. h sec squared theta ey dot omega h where omega h was just e x from here, which equals zero because e x dot e y is equal to zero. e theta dot omega theta, let me just write that out a bit more neatly. We've got h sec squared theta e y dot, yes, that's e theta, isn't it? Omega theta is this guy here, minus sine theta cos theta e x over h plus cos squared theta over h e y equals. Well, of course, that term drops out because there's nothing to dot it with on in the other in the other term, and we've got h sec squared theta times cos squared theta over h. E y dot e y equals one. Check. So that was equal to zero, and that's equal to one. So everything works. So it's an it's an inverse basis to the e's, which is nice. Let me just write them out again, and we'll we'll just have a think about them. Omega h equals e x plus e y tan theta and omega theta equals h sec squared e y. I'm going to stop there and talk about it in the next screencast.